Praise the Lord, everybody. God is so good. And truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. The Bible says in the Gospel of Luke, the 24th chapter, I want to begin reading in your hearing verse 1. Now on the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they and certain other women with them came to the tomb, bringing the spices which they had prepared. But they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. Then they went in and did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. Verse 4, and it happened as they were greatly perplexed about this, that behold, two men standing by them in shining garments. Then as they were afraid and bowed their faces to the earth, they said to them, why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spoke to you when he, when he was still in Galilee, verse 7, saying, the son of man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words. I came to remind someone, come out from amongst the dead. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, I come to you in the mighty name of Jesus and I ask that you would anoint me to speak this word, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus, it would accomplish every single thing that you wanted to do, Lord, that you sent it to do. Lord, I pray for deliverance, God, I, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I pray that your people would be edified and you, my Lord, would be glorified. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Over 2,000 years ago, the Son of God came to this earth to redeem mankind from sin. Jesus would become the sacrificial lamb, the spotless lamb that alone was worthy to die for our sins. Jesus paid a heavy price, I want you to know, so that you and I can be free. So the question is, why are you still bound? Are you tangled up in the cares of the world? Have you given yourself over to all the movements that are raging in the world today? Jesus is calling to you to come out from a amongst the dead and live again. Come out and receive new life. Second Corinthians, the fifth chapter and the 17th verse declares, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. I declare to you today that abundant life is waiting for you and it's found in Jesus. So shake off the grave clothes of this world and be set free. Cast your cares on him for he cares for you. Jesus has already done it for you. They crucified our savior, but after three days, he rose again with all power in both heaven and on earth. Jesus is alive and you can live again to come out from amongst the dead. The gospel of Luke, the 24th chapter and the fifth verse again declares, then as they were a Afraid and bowed their faces to the earth. They said to them, why do you seek the living among the dead? I never want to close one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want 
to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3, 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your sins. Romans 10, 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10, 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.